Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back to my beekeeping basics. Today we're back at the queen rearing apiary. Everything is now closing down for the autumn and winter. We've stopped our queen rearing and it's time to prepare some of the hives for the winter. And we're going to go into the colonies today, check the supers that we returned after extraction to make sure that they've been cleaned and we'll be removing some of those. And we've also got a colony that last week we placed the Mitoway Quick Strips treatment on. So we're gonna take a look at that today and see how they're doing. So why don't you follow me over into the apiary and we'll take a look at these colonies. So this is our best honey production colony from this year. Uh, we've uh, taken four supers off it uh, late summer and we took uh, an additional four or five supers off in the spring so they've been fantastic but just a couple of weeks ago I noticed that uh, there was some varroa damage in there and I actually witnessed a varroa mite climbing out of uh, a cell as an adult bee was emerging so it was uh, definitely time to check them out and uh, put some varroa treatment on them. As you know, I prefer the Mitoway Quick Strips. They're a one week treatment. And for me, uh, I've never really had any of the problems associated with Mitoway Quick Strips. Um, maybe queens absconding, queens being bald and killed, uh, colonies absconding from, from the hive. Uh, something that I have had uh, is uh, bees removing all of the open brood, so any immature larvae that are in in the cells uh, have been removed um, but other than that I've not experienced any other problems with them and uh, if they do remove the brood then they quickly the queen quickly relays in those cells anyway so it gives something of a natural brood break or rather something of an unnatural brood break so today we're going to open up the colony we're going to go through the supers that are on the top here, these were replaced after extraction, and so we're going to remove these today. The bees should have cleaned those down nicely for us, and so they'll now be dry frames, ready to be stored for the winter. And then we're going to go into the bottom box, take out the Mitoway quick strips, and just carry out a normal inspection. So let's crack on with that. So the top four supers on this colony are all empty supers there will be a few bees in them but these will have now been cleaned and if i show you one of the frames here from the center this is now completely cleaned up of all of the residual honey there's nothing left on it the bees have taken any of the wax down that was sitting on the frames and these are perfectly clean and can now be stored ready for the winter so we'll just work our way down through all of these supers and as you can see there are barely any bees in here at all And we'll produce a video to show you how we store all of our supers uh, through the winter. So we're now down to the crime board and these are all completely clean and can be stacked up. And it's really useful for next year to have all of these drawn combs ready to go into the new season. It saves having to rely on the bees to draw foundation and they can store straight into the, the drawn combs. So this super was put onto the colony in order to give them some additional space because we were treating them with the Mitoway quick strips and you'll see that there's no wax in any of these frames. These frames are all empty, they were cut out. Let's just show you one of the frames. So these were just cut out from the summer, 
probably had cut comb but we put it on in order to give the bees extra space because it's a large colony and they need the extra space when you're using the mitoway quick strips. So here you can see the queen excluder and beneath the queen excluder we've got the two mitoway quick strip pads. So we'll take off the queen excluder, place that in front of the hive. And then we can remove these two pads which contained the formic acid treatment. And those can be disposed of now. So now it's just a, a standard inspection at this time of the year. And this will be one of the last inspections that we do. It's late August and we'll be moving into September next week and we're just looking for food stores to see whether we need to add a feeder to give them some extra supplies so this frame is just foundation and I think I mentioned previously that I don't um, I don't actually weigh out the amount of feed that I give them I use a method called hefting and we do have a video showing you what that method entails but it is simply lifting the back of the hive to gauge the weight. Um, if you're lucky enough to have more than a couple of hives then you soon become quite adept at gauging exactly how much weight there is in a hive. You can compare between colonies and some will be heavy and some will be relatively light compared to the heavy ones and then you can ensure that you have enough food to be able to feed them. So we've got a couple of super seizure queen cells on that frame. So we're gonna go through and just check that we have eggs. And this was one of our most productive colonies. So we want to make sure that we're okay for the coming winter. So we'll just continue our inspection through. And so interestingly with this colony, we have a situation where um, they appear to have removed all of the open brood. So this is something that I've encountered before with my toy quick strips. And in fact, uh, they've produced quite a number of super seizure queen cells. So um, we're going to check through to make sure that we've got eggs. And then we'll probably um, take out the super seizure queen cells. And I'll probably pop some into a nuke box and just see if we can produce one or two queens for the end of the season. So this frame has been glued to the side wall of the brood box. So we'll just see if we can take this one out. There we go. It's in a bit of a mess, but that's one that we can replace. It's loaded with lots and lots of pollen. So we won't remove this frame, but maybe next year it'll be one that we'll uh, mark to remove. Okay, so what I'll do now is just go through the colony and knock down some of those super seizure cells, but also move some out and place them into a nuke box and see if we can produce um, some more queens. It's a bit late in the season now, but if the weather holds, there's still quite a lot of drones around and uh, we might get some successful mating. So what I've done is removed 
a frame that's got a really nice Super Seizure Queen cell on. Uh, I've removed all the others. We've got eggs. Uh, the Queen's going to be in here somewhere. So I'm hoping that this is obviously one of our better colonies. So I'm hoping that we can produce a Queen from this colony and that we'll have an additional Queen uh, going into the autumn. Uh, it might be too late. It's very late in the season now for queens, but they do mate late in the season successfully. So we'll just have to see how we get on and we can perhaps have a look at that another time. So I've taken out two additional frames of brood and food. So we've got a nuke box now that's got the frame with the uh, queen cell on it, a frame of brood and a frame of food. So they'll have sufficient stores to be able to uh, survive for a few days and we'll put a feeder on them as well. I've added a couple of frames of foundation into this colony and so we'll feed these as well. So we've just got this one remaining frame and the dummy board to go back into this colony and who knows we might get an additional queen from this colony. We no longer need the queen excluder so we can take that off because we won't be leaving any um, supers on this colony. This is a commercial hive and has sufficient room in the brood box area for them to store enough food for the winter. And so all that remains now is to just tidy up the crown board, knock the bees off. We'll just scrape off the additional brace comb that we've got. Just tidy that up a little bit. I'll just clean up the edges of the crown board. So now we can pop this crown board back on. Just tidy it up, make sure the bees are all nice and secure. And then pop the roof back on. And we'll go and collect a feeder and get a feeder on those shortly. We've closed that colony down and uh, they're hopefully now going to be all set with a, a, the addition of a feeder and we'll feed those uh, to build up their supply of stores for the winter but hopefully they're going to be okay and obviously we've now taken an opportunistic view of removing a couple of frames with uh, a super procedure queen cell on it and hopefully we can produce a queen in a nuke box that will maybe uh, we can use for an additional colony or we can just take that nuke through the winter. I hope you found that interesting. Please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that little bell symbol and then you'll be notified of any new uploads that we make. We're going to crack on and do some more inspections now. So until next time, thanks for watching.